Alrighty guys, this is Andrew and welcome back to another Overwatch video and today is going to be really exciting because we finally have the Oasis map, the King of the Hill map that was teased for quite some time is finally live on the PTR. That's right guys, if you log on to the PTR now, you can get into at least a custom game with the map on. Now, I, I've heard people getting into the Oasis map on the um, with, with actual other players, kind of in just, just quick playing it up, just sort of relying on luck to RNG the right map, but unfortunately, after about an hour of trying to get this together, I, I just couldn't get a match with Oasis. I'm assuming because everyone was quitting out of the other maps, much like what I was doing, and just trying to spam for Oasis. So, yeah, Blizzard guys, if you're watching this, please, for the love of God, when you're doing a map test or a, or a test run of the maps on the PTR, make it so that the only map you can get is Oasis. That'll be great. That'll be fantastic. But before I get too into the map, guys, I want to let you know that this video is sponsored by the guys over at GamerLink. Now, before you guys all turn off your brains because you heard the word sponsored, I can almost guarantee you that this app will be beneficial to a lot of you guys out there. So what it does, it's a free to download app. It essentially connects you to a bunch of other gamers that are looking for people to play with. It supports a multitude of games, of course, Overwatch being one of them. The two reasons why this is going to be useful for you guys is because one, the competitive season, season three is well underway, as well as number two, the Genji Oni skin, which requires you to play with friends on Heroes of the Storm. I believe it's 15 matches. So luckily, Heroes of the Storm is one of the games that are supported, so you can actually find people who are grinding out this skin just like you. This app is full of features. You can even set up your own beacon, as they call it, to kind of get your own party going. It's relatively easy to set up, so if you guys want to check it out, link will be in the description. Anyways, the new map, Oasis, it's on the PTR. You guys should go ahead and check it out on the PTR in case if you haven't already. But this is a gorgeous map set in the Arabian Desert. I swear to God, guys, every time Blizzard comes out with a new map, it's like another place that I should be going to for vacation, but I can't afford to. I mean, Eichenwald is friggin' gorgeous, Elios is gorgeous, and now... Now we have friggin' Oasis. Now the there, there seems to be quite a bit of lore behind this map. A as always, Blizzard likes to stuff in a bunch of small easter eggs and things like that. But so far, the official post that, that, that describes Oasis is talking about how the city is governed by the Ministries. It's a collection of brilliant minds who possess many secrets. Candy, why can't you speak? Many secrets that have attracted the interest of powerful organizations from around the world. So I can totally see Sombra's sort of story arc continuing into this map. I bet she's going to get her hands into this some way, somehow. You see, just that, that's just sort of my hunch. You're calling it now, guys. Calling it right now. So, of course, as with any other King of the Hill map, right, you got three stages. Three levels. And instead of starting out from the spaceships or whatever you want to call them, the... The, the hero carriers, I, I don't even know. Uh, you, you start from a unique set of spawn locations. So you got like hotels, you got five star restaurants, you got freaking libraries and universities. Now I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna miss, you know, throwing in basketballs into the hoops. We're, we'll, we'll live, we'll figure out some way to cope. An interesting thing that Blizzard has decided to do with this particular map is introduce like more dynamic features. You got cars that will kill you, that's right, run you right over. You have launch pads, you have, uh, well, okay, you really only have those two things, but I cannot tell you guys enough how excited I am to be able to shove people into moving cars as Lucio. I'm just, I'm just so hyped. But this map seems to be quite symmetrical, kind of holding true to the King of the Hill tradition as well as multiple flanking routes. I mean, this is why I love King of the Hill. What is interesting about Oasis is that they've kind of introduced a, a sort of underground type flanking route. If you guys take a look at the map University, there's like a like a pit, like essentially a well, very similar to like the one in Ilios. However, instead of killing you, there's a health pack at the bottom. And, and once you get down there, you'll notice that there are certain corridors that you can take that will lead you to potentially behind the enemy line so I love how they've kind of introduced 
this idea of an underground system. I can imagine there there being multiple battles across different floors on this map. Now, verticality is of course going to be king, especially in Oasis. Like in Eichenwald, like in uh, Ilios, you know, if you have the high ground, and there's plenty of it, so I can imagine taking key points such as the uh, jump pad and certain ledges, that's going to be instrumental in holding the objective, the capture points. So, yeah, let me know your thoughts on Oasis down in the comments section below. Below. It's a beautiful map. Have you guys been able to play it on the PTR? If you have, let me know your experience. And uh, yeah, I guess that's just about it for this video. Be sure to hit that like button, guys. It would really help me out. And as well, check out GamerLink. See if that helps out you guys find parties to play with, especially for that Nexus challenge. I, I know I, I called it Nexus before. I think it's called, I think it's pronounced Nexus. Anyways, all right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.